Shimano's SL-U6010R Q's 10-speed shifter is one of their trail and e-bike shifters. In this video, I'm going to measure the cable pull of this shifter. Then, I'm going to discuss cross-compatibility with other Q's shifters. To measure the shifts, I took 168 measurements across 24 runs. On 12 runs, I pulled cable, simulating shifting to easier gears, and on 12 runs, I relaxed cable, simulating shifting to harder gears. My indicator doesn't have enough range for all shifts, so I repositioned the indicator halfway through. Here we can see the amount of cable pulled between each pair of cogs. The large amount of cable pulled between the smallest cogs allows the cable to go fully slack when resting on the high limit screw. The railers typically move slower towards the ends of their range of motion and faster towards the middle. However, this shifter does not attempt to compensate for that. Instead, nearly all shifts are close to the average. Clearly, this shifter was designed to work with the derailleur with a very consistent pull ratio that does not change very much through its range of motion. Alternatively, the job of compensating for the derailleur may be accomplished by small adjustments to the cog spacing toward the end of the range of motion. We can also calculate an average cable pull. I averaged together the middle shifts, ignoring the first and last shifts. The end result is an average cable pull of 3.58 millimeters. On average, each of the middle shifts will pull about 3.58 millimeters of cable. When Q's was released, there was a lot of fanfare about how Q's and Link Glide would improve compatibility and reduce the number of SKUs that bike shops would need to keep on hand. Many reports came out saying that the shifters, derailleurs, and cassettes would even be cross-compatible across 9, 10, and 11-speed Q's group sets. Shimano's official compatibility charts don't show any compatibility between 9, 10, and 11-speed Q's components. However, Shimano's official data sheets do say that the cog spacing is the same among all cassettes, implying that these reports of cross-compatibility are correct. I compared the shifts of the 9-speed Q's shifter to the 10-speed Q's shifter and found that they are essentially the same. You can see here that the difference in shifts is negligible, with the biggest difference being only 0.06 millimeters. These differences are tiny and are likely due to measurement error from my measuring device or manufacturing differences. I believe that all Q's shifters share the same escape wheel, whose job it is to control the shifts. I've removed the case of this 9-speed Q's shifter. As you can see in this photo, the black escape wheel has more than 9 teeth. In fact, it has 17 teeth, more than enough to work for a 10 or 11-speed shifter. The main difference between all of the Q's shifters is just a single piece of plastic. This piece of plastic is attached to the escape wheel and it has three jobs. It pulls the cable, it moves the gear indicator display, and it has a stop which limits how many shifts the shifter can provide. Since all the shifters use the same escape wheel, the only thing Shimano has to do for a 10 or 11 speed shifter is to use a different piece of plastic. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference, and I encourage you to find the info page link in the description to see more information about this shifter.